Good evening and welcome to Bristol Community College's Student Awards Ceremony. My name is Emma Monsky, I'm the Director of Student and Family Engagement. This evening, we are here to recognize students who have demonstrated exceptional academic growth and development, as well as those who have made significant contributions in service and leadership. This year has been like no other, and I am beyond impressed with our students' ability to rise above the significant challenges brought upon by the pandemic. I am honored to work alongside leaders like our Student Senate and Club Presidents who have continued to stay motivated while navigating a virtual environment. Tonight, we will hear from leaders across the college and learn more about our student recipients. While we are unable to be together in person this evening, I do encourage you to engage. Please add a comment to our YouTube or Facebook Live platforms throughout the evening. Now I'm pleased to hand the mic over to our president. Dr. Laura Douglas believes in putting the community in community college. She provides ongoing outreach to ensure that our college's service area is supported in accessing college and continuing education. She is passionate about student success, economic development, and workforce preparedness. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Laura Douglas, president of Bristol Community College. Thank you, Emma. Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to Bristol Community College. It is truly an honor to welcome all of you to our student awards celebration. Your dedication is something to be commended, and I am so happy that we are here this evening, albeit virtually, to celebrate all of you and your many accomplishments. We welcome our faculty, staff, students, family, and friends joining us tonight. I would like to thank all of you for your commitment to Bristol Community College and our students. To our students, may you continue your quest for knowledge, and I hope that you will always remember that Bristol is where you received the best education possible. We will always be here to support you. I also hope that we have instilled in you a love for learning that will forever be sought. I now have the distinct pleasure of announcing the first category in tonight's proceedings, our Foundation Awards and Scholarships. Many of the following are financial awards. In total, the 58 awards add up to just under $50,000, all of which will go directly to our student recipients. Our first award is the All USA Academic Team Scholarship. Nominees are chosen for their outstanding academic achievements as well as significant college and community service. This year's recipients are Dakota Chixaro and Maggie Lett Hudson. The Jeanette Denning Writing Award third place recipient is Zandria Glotti. The Jeanette Denning Writing Award second place recipient is Vanessa Cruz. The Jeanette Denning Writing Award first place recipient is Frederick Burine. The Katya Lund International Student Award is an annual award given to an international student at Bristol who demonstrates academic proficiency and a commitment to increasing global understanding. This year's recipient is Elvis Dos Santos. The Johanna DuPont Occupational Therapy Assistant Scholarship is given to a second year student who is matriculating in the OTA program who demonstrates professionalism, collegiality, and a commitment to the OT profession. This year's recipient is Jessica Carmichael. The Bristol Foundation Quest Scholarship recipient is Antonia Fernandez. The John J. Spraga PhD Honors Book Award is a book chosen by Dr. Spraga and given to a Commonwealth Honors student at Bristol who demonstrates exemplary achievement through honors work. This year's recipient is Sarah T. Hincapi. The Jennifer E. Serpa Memorial Scholarship is given to a Bristol student in the Medical Laboratory Technology Program. This year's recipient is Ronald Fadrigalon. The Edward Terrell Smith Jr. Scholarship 
is awarded to a graduating Bristol student who will be transferring to a four-year college or university. Additionally, the student must be of high personal integrity and be actively expending an extra measure of commitment beyond what it takes to earn good academic standing. This year's recipient is Adi Morales Rivas. Congratulations to all of our recipients. Good evening, all. I will be presenting the next section of our foundation awards. Congratulations to all of this evening's recipients. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award and Foundation Studio recipients are Muji Wu and Morgan M. D. Amaral. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Fine Arts is awarded to Braulio Ortega. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Graphic Design is awarded to Mackenzie Aruda. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Animation and Motion Graphics is awarded to Michael Gould. The Bristol Community College Art and Design Award in Web Design and Media Arts is awarded to Megan Peter. The recipient of the Ron Lister Professor Emeritus Fine Art Award is Sarah Melu. The recipient of the Ron Lister Professor Emeritus Design Award is Hannah Souza. The Jessica M. Raposa Class of 2005 Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Destiny Matos. The Jesse E. Richardson Art Award is given to an art student who has excelled in painting. This year's recipient is Allison Borges. The recipient of the John Stobart Art Award in third place is Nicole Giroux. The recipient of the John Stobart Art Award in second place is Allison Borges. And the recipient of the John Stobart Art Award in first place is Paige Smiley. The Professor Marion Wilner Art Book Award is awarded to an outstanding art transfer student who has demonstrated creativity and excellence in drawing and design. This year's recipient is Rebecca Smith. And finally, for this section, the Helen Marie Booth Theater Award recipient is Tiffany Pinaretta. Congratulations all and enjoy your evening. Okay, good evening all. I have the honor to present the next four Foundation Scholarship Awards in Criminal Justice. The Kenneth M. Candeas Memorial Scholarship recipient is Caitlin Gouveia. The Charles E. Crowshaw Jr. Memorial Scholarship recipient is Douglas Zhang. The Raymond L. LaVirtue Sr. Scholarship recipient is Dakota Chiharo. And the Barry McKee Scholarship recipient is Logan St. Louis. Congratulations to you all. Good evening. I will be announcing the recipients of the Foundation's Culinary Arts Scholarship Awards. The Chef John J. Caresimo Scholarship goes to the following recipients. Dylan Peckham, Rachel Hudson, Cassidy Garrity, Bree Grenier, Amanda Silva, and Kelly Souza. The Nick Grossi Memorial Culinary Arts Scholarship goes to Stephanie Weaver and Olivia Mariotti. Congratulations. Good evening. I will be presenting the nursing section of our foundation scholarships. The John A. and Eileen F. Carr and Catherine V. Whalen Scholarship is awarded to Anastasia Rosa and Colby Boissonnet. The Donna W. Castro Memorial Nursing Scholarship is awarded to Chantelle DuPont, Adalgisa Mercado, Rachel Costa, Casey Conroy. The Ruth E. Hurley Nursing Award recipient is Sarah Ayala. The Marie B. Maloof Memorial Scholarship recipients are Kelsey Houlihan and Chelsea Augustine. The Marie Marshall Nursing Scholarship is awarded to Ashley Richards. The Mullins Family Nursing Scholarship in honor of Anna E. Mullins, RN, 
Claire T. Mullins, RN, BA, MSN, Ruth Mullins Mosley, RN, VS, AF, and Ann Mullins Bodie, RN, is awarded to Samantha Laffey. The recipient of the Evelyn Pacheco Scholarship is Diana Ingo. The recipient of the Richard and Doris Quirk Nursing Scholarship is Brandon Cooney. The recipient of the Lucy Rose Memorial Nursing Scholarship is Tanya Catario. The August I. Ryer PhD Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Dale Jenkins. The Truesdale Hospital Nurses Alumni Association Scholarship recipient is Brittany Fernandes. And the Union Hospital School of Nursing Alumni Scholarship recipient is Sokita Singh. I will be announcing the next four award recipients in our foundation scholarship section for this evening. The Fletcher Grossier CIS Programming Award goes to Arthur Tripp. The Fletcher Grossier CIS Web Development Award goes to Samada Wuljimage. The Fletcher Grossier CIS Computer Game Development Award goes to Peter Gomes. And the Fletcher Grosser CIS Cybersecurity and Digital Forensic Award goes to Michael Whitney. Congratulations to each of you and to all of our recipients this evening. Good evening, all. I'm Sarah Archambault, the Chair of Student Engagement for Student Senate. The Bronze Shield Award is awarded to students who have provided continuous, outstanding services to a student club or organization of the college. Let's hear a little about why you might nominate a student for this award. For the Bronze Shield, I look to nominate students who understand the value of the full Bristol experience. Students who connect something that they're passionate about outside of the classroom and create opportunities for others who share the same interests. For some students, work within a club is how they'll define their time at Bristol. And I want to be sure that those students are recognized for their dedication to the Bristol community. It's now my honor to announce this year's Bronze Shields Award recipients. Shannon D'Olivera for her services to the Deaf Studies Club. Tyjon T.J. Henry for his services to the Multicultural Student Center. Emily Hewling for her services to Student Senate, the Commonwealth Honors Program, Phi Theta Kappa, and Seas of Sustainability. Corinne L. LePage for her service to the Commonwealth Honors Program and collaborations with the Hero Club, Multicultural, Holocaust, and Women's Center. Ian Ledge and Ruth Lazar for their services to the STEM Club. Sumeta Welgamidge for his work to reestablish the Bird Club. Rafia Saleem for her dedication to Student Senate and the Student and Family Engagement Department. Allison Brum for her work in Phi Theta Kappa. Victoria Perry for her work with the OER Committee and dedication to Student Senate. Congratulations to all the Bronze Shield Award recipients and congratulations to all student leaders. Thank you, Sarah. Our next award category is the Silver Shield Award. The Silver Shield Award is given to students who have made significant contributions to Bristol Community College and are recognized for rendering outstanding service of consistent high quality to the college. Let's hear a little about why you may nominate a student for this award. My Silver Shield nominees are those students that go above and beyond. They are the ones that offer up their creativity and feedback to take something to the next level. They show enthusiasm in what they do and get others excited about getting involved. They are the ones that hold themselves accountable and have the ability to effectively balance their personal lives with their extracurricular activities, as well as their education, career goals, and workforce expectations. My Silver Shield nominees show up and stand out in a crowd while sharing their passion for what they do and what they're learning at Bristol. I agree with you, Rose. When I think of a student to nominate for this award, I think of the student whose name seems to be everywhere, known to faculty and staff from different areas of the college. This is a student who has that spark for learning, but has more than that. This student wants to be a part of a community, wants to find a home at the college and build something with others here. They have an energy, a positivity to them, a curiosity and a willingness to use their gifts. 
They've taken part in many events and projects at the college and have drawn in others with them. Absolutely, Denise. Students who deserve this award are those who make important contributions to Bristol Community College. These recipients are highly motivated with a drive and willingness to step up in a way that goes above and beyond. They demonstrate a commitment to service and are actively engaged in making Bristol a better place for other students. It is a privilege and a pleasure to nominate students for such a prestigious award. It is now my honor to announce this year's Silver Shield Award recipients. Jonathan Morrison for his service as President to Student Senate. Roman So for his dedication to the Multicultural Student Center. Jamie Raballo for her service to Student Senate and the Senate proposal process. Jonathan Tonin for his service to Student Senate and clubs at Bristol. Casey Pitsley for their service to Student Senate and the virtual student experience. Maddie Ironfield, for their dedication to the Hawk newspaper. Alexis Vivieros Bronco, for her time as our student trustee. Congratulations to all of this evening's recipients and thank you for your service and commitment during this past unprecedented year. It's a pleasure to join you all this evening and announce the recipient for the Scepter and Sproul Award. The Scepter and Sproul Award and membership to the Scepter and Sproul Society is given to students who have provided consistent and outstanding contributions of leadership and service to Bristol. This year's recipients are Magellette Hudson for her service to Student Senate, Phi Theta Kappa, the Mobile Food Market, and the Commonwealth Honors Program. Sarah Archambault for her dedication to Student Senate, Commonwealth Honors, the Experiential Education Center, and the Mobile Food Market. Emily Huling, for her contributions to Multicultural Affairs, Seeds of Sustainability, Phi Zeta Kappa, Student Senate, and the Commonwealth Honors Program. Congratulations to each of you for this achievement, and thank you for your leadership. Enjoy your evening, everyone. The Bristol Community College Commonwealth Honors Program offers over 150 outstanding students the opportunity to participate in honors classes, interdisciplinary honors seminars, and honors component projects. These students elect to enroll in classes that require them to meet scholastic challenges that rise above and beyond the usual college level rigor. These students share the same challenges as many at Bristol, balancing their studies with jobs, caring for family members, and actively participating in their communities. I am humbled by all that they accomplish and proud of their success. Tonight, the Commonwealth Honors Program recognizes those students who have chosen to undertake these additional scholastic opportunities. They have completed at least three honors experiences and have worked successfully with a faculty mentor to produce and present a significant capstone interdisciplinary research project all done while maintaining a GPA of at least 3.45. The Commonwealth Honors Program Scholars are Sarah Y. Archambault, Kwang B. Arnson, Selena M. Brazil, Robert Comerford, Justine Gonsalves, Catherine A. Haley, Magulette Hudson, Emily R. Hewling, Dahlia P. Joseph Albana, Tillin S. Layton, P.J. Lenza, A.D. A. Morales Rivas, Jonathan Morrison, Monique E. Santos, Hannah Souza, Brandon L. Souza, Jillian N. Sylvia, Hannah L. Walsh, Sumeda Welgamaj. Congratulations to all the award recipients and enjoy your evening. Good evening all. It is my pleasure to present the Civic Engagement Awards tonight. Through volunteerism and civic participation, students at Bristol Community College are able to give back to their communities while also enhancing their educational experience through service. Students who have engaged in a significant amount of service as part of their academic experience either through service learning or by leading a group of their peers in a project designed to address a community need 
all earn the distinction of community service leaders. The recipients are Sarah Yusuf Archambault, Kathy Boley, Robert Comerford, Cameron Costa, Justine Gonzalez, Catherine Haley, Magalette Hudson, Emily Rose Hewling, Rachel Hudson, Grace Kalusny, Peter Lenza, Corinne LePage, Michaela Metis, Jonathan Morrison, Casey Pitsley, Michael Perry, Jamie Raballo, Penny Roberts, Jonathan Tonin, Hannah Walsh, and Sumetta Wagamage. The next award being given for volunteerism and civic participation is the President's Volunteer Service Award. Students can earn bronze, silver, or gold distinction as an individual or as part of a student club or organization. Students earning any of these honors are to be commended as they have completed anywhere between 100 hours and 1,000 hours of service to their community this year. The recipients of the Bronze Bristol Community College President's Volunteer Service Award are Aliana Andrioli, Kylie Anzuoni, Andrea Bento, Kaylee Coloro, Erin Colon, Ashley Cordero, Nicole De Silva, Lindsay Dias, Megan Kubachandani, Carolyn Kritzas, Samantha Lockhart, Megan Mendonca, Kayla Moniz, Mary Pavador, Emily Serpa, Ashley Smith, Olivia Towers, and Melissa Zatier. For their commitment to the college community through their work as student senators, the recipients of the Silver Bristol Community College President's Volunteer Service Award are Emily Hewling, Victoria Perry, Rafia Salim, and Lydia Aluani. The recipients of the Gold Bristol Community College President's Volunteer Service Award are Catherine Haley, Michael Perry, and Penny Roberts. Congratulations and thank you all for your many hours of service. Hello everyone. As a 2020 alum, it's wonderful to be back with you all and to join the presenters this evening to celebrate your successes. One of the most prestigious volunteer service awards is the Newman Civic Fellows Award, one that I had the honor to receive last year. This national award honors inspiring college student leaders who have demonstrated an investment in finding solutions for challenges facing communities throughout this country. Through service, research and advocacy, Newman Civic Fellows make the most of their college experiences to better understand themselves, the root causes of social issues and effective mechanisms for creating lasting change. I am pleased to share the recipient of this year's Newman Civic Fellow Award is Catherine Haley. Catherine plans to spend her next year as a Newman Civic Fellow creating a peer mentorship program within the TRIO program a federally backed program that assists students who face extra challenges, such as those who are economically disadvantaged or first in their family to go to college. Congratulations and best of luck to you, Catherine. Wishing you all a wonderful evening and remember, stay safe. Good evening. Next on the agenda are the two curriculum awards. The curriculum awards are given to graduating students who are recognized for the characteristics of reliability, perseverance, and high academic quality. These awards express the college's confidence in the recipient as they enter the world of business, community service, or higher education. The curriculum awards are presented in two different categories, one for high academic achievement and one for perseverance and growth. Please welcome our academic leaders to read this year's recipients. Congratulations to all. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Arts and Humanities are Shelley Shaw, Deaf Studies, Elizabeth Campo, Art Transfer Web Design, Julie Lemu, Art Transfer Fine Art, Paige Smiley, Art Transfer Fine Art, 
Quentin Desmaris, Art Transfer, Fine Art. Hannah Souza, Art Transfer, Graphic Design and Web Design Certificate. Laura Franco, Art Transfer, Fine Art. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for Arts and Humanities are Stephen Fernandez, Art Transfer, Animation and Motion Graphics. Chelsea Martin, Art Transfer, Graphic Design and Web Design Certificate. Jonathan Davies, Art Transfer, Web Design and Media Arts. Adi Morales Rivas, Liberal Arts Humanities. Congratulations to all nominees and recipients. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Behavioral and Social Sciences and Education are Ariana Rebello, Psychology Transfer, Quang Arnson, Liberal Arts, Mackenzie Craven, Liberal Arts, Landon Selena, Liberal Arts, Ernest Robert Arnold, Liberal Arts, Alexis Viveros Bronco, Human Services, Jeremy Messenger, Human Services, Amelia Moran, Human Services, Emily Austin, Early Childhood Education Licensure, Samantha Silvera, Early Childhood Education Licensure, Dakota Chihado, Criminal Justice, the recipient of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for Behavioral and Social Sciences and Education are Evelyn Martinez, Early Childhood Education, Sabrina Reed, Human Services, Lauren Massapalo, Liberal Arts, Jonathan Tonin, Liberal Arts, Yashley Edmund, Paralegal Studies. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Business and Experiential Education are Clarissa Da Silva, Business Administration, Rhea Brandova Mendez, Culinary Arts, Baking and Pastry. The recipient of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for Business and Experiential Education is Terry Robinson, Business Administration. Congratulations all. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement in Health Sciences are Brianna Lopes, Medical Assisting, Carolyn Krikis, Dental Hygiene, Melissa Bellafule, Clinical Laboratory Science, Michael Krawchuk, Clinical Laboratory Science. The recipient of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for Health Sciences are Gabby Voltau, Clinical Laboratory Science, Olivia Towers, Dental Hygiene, Jessica Carmichael, Occupational Therapy Assistant. Congratulations all. The recipient of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Nursing is Kimberly Wade. The recipient of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance in Growth for Nursing is Brittany Miller. Congratulations to you both. The recipient of the Curriculum Award for High Academic Achievement for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, Rebecca J. Swagia, Mechanical Engineering Technology, Merrily Rivera, Engineering Transfer. Alexis Muse, Engineering Technology. Josh Piusho, Architectural and Civil Technology. Xian Wu, Biology. Stacy Patello, General Studies, Health and Life Sciences. Ava Tavares, General Studies, Health and Life Sciences. Sierra Piera, General Studies, Health and Life Sciences. Tanya Turan, General Studies, Health and Life Sciences. Michael B. Whitney, Cybersecurity and Digital Forensics. Samuda Wolgamich, Computer Information Systems. Arthur Tripp, 
Computer Information Systems. Peter Gomes, Computer Information Systems. The recipients of the Curriculum Award for Perseverance and Growth for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics are Kyla Saint Pierre, Cybersecurity and Digital Forensics. David Castellas, Engineering Technology. Justina Johnson, General Studies, Health and Life Sciences. Paula Durrett, General Studies, Health and Life Sciences. Sengwan Wu, Life Sciences Biology. Tyler Colio, Liberal Arts, Math and Science Transfer. I now have the distinct honor of announcing our valedictorian and salutatorian of this year's graduating class. Students graduating summa cum laude are invited to apply for the honor of giving the valedictory address. From the finalist, two students are selected to represent their classmates based on their academic excellence and community achievements. They are designated as valedictorian and the salutatorian of the class. This year's salutatorian is Lydia Bolger. Lydia will graduate with an associate in science in office administration from the Executive Administrative Assistant Program. Lydia, enrolled at Bristol in 2018, is an ambitious adult learner, determined to achieve her lifelong goal of earning a college degree. After losing her job of 10 years to her company's closing, Lydia decided to view her situation as a positive, life-changing opportunity to begin her college education and pursue a new career. Lydia's goal is to transfer to a four-year institution to earn her bachelor's degree in computer science. She attributes her positive attitude and the support of Bristol's faculty and staff for helping her persevere past obstacles and succeed while balancing her family responsibilities. Congratulations, Lydia. This year's valedictorian is Katherine Haley. Katie will graduate with an Associate in Arts in the Liberal Arts and Sciences Psychology Transfer Program. Katie is a student leader focused on issues pertaining to homelessness and addiction. At Bristol, she excels academically and served the college as recording officer of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, a student advocate on the National Community College Funding Committee, and as a Commonwealth Honors Program Scholar. She credits Bristol's dedicated faculty and staff for encouraging and challenging her, both academically and personally, to expand her horizons and explore opportunities that she had not considered. Katie has extended her critical work by volunteering in her community at the River to Recovery Substance Abuse Recovery Program and at Bristol's monthly mobile food market. Katie is passionate about assisting others. She will continue her education in the field of psychology with a focus on trauma. 
Congratulations, Katie. Good evening, all. I'm JJ Massey. As a 2020 graduate, I'm very proud to be back here and have the honor this evening of celebrating our 29 Who Shine recipient. The Massachusetts 29 Who Shine Award, of which I was privileged to receive last year, recognizes 29 outstanding student graduates from the Commonwealth's public higher education system. It's granted to those with stellar academic achievements, proven leadership potential, and a dedication to their communities. Here's a little bit about our recipient from her nomination. This recipient gracefully balances many roles as a wife, mother, student leader, and tireless volunteer. While at Bristol, she's excelled academically and held leadership roles as president of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, vice president of the Commonwealth Honors Program Club, and academic chair of Bristol's Student Senate. She is known for her positive attitude and regularly connects with students on Bristol's campuses and social media platforms to provide guidance and encouragement. She's equally dedicated to serving her community as a leading volunteer with Bristol's mobile food market. The recipient also served as president of her husband's military unit, family readiness group, and as a volunteer with the Fall River Women, Infants, and Children program. I'm pleased to announce Maggie Lett Hudson as this year's 29 Who Shine recipient. A huge congratulations to Maggie for this receipt of this statewide honor. Maggie will graduate this spring with an Associates in Arts in Business Administration transfer. She will attend Bryant University to pursue a degree in Human Resource Management. It was a pleasure to be a part of this celebratory evening. Thank you. Known as the President's Award, the Mace and Shield is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The name of each recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. The Mace and Shield recipient was chosen out of the successful nominations of our Scepter and Shield Awards. This year's recipient had multiple nominations. I will quote an excerpt of the nominations now. Although the pandemic has caused some shifting, there are still ways for students to give back if they are willing to find them. The nominee has taken advantage of these opportunities and is flourishing in many aspects of campus life. She has represented Bristol in her work as the Chair of Academic Affairs with Bristol Student Senate, a leader of Phi Theta Kappa and the Commonwealth Honors Club, her work in the community as a military mom, a volunteer with WIC and her leadership at the Bristol Mobile Food Market. She challenges herself. She sees an opportunity she goes for it, but more importantly, if she sees a need, she wants to help. Her service to the betterment of the student experience at Bristol is invaluable. It is my pleasure to announce Maggie Lett Hudson as this year's Mace and Shield recipient. Congratulations, Maggie Lett. You are an inspiration to us all and we are grateful for your service to the college. That concludes our presentation this evening. Congratulations once again to all of the award recipients. Please join us for Bristol's 54th commencement ceremony on Saturday, May 22nd, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. on Bristol's 2021 commencement website, Facebook, and YouTube pages. Wishing you all good health. Yay. Yay. Yay.